Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today's devotion is on Psalms 8, but before we go into our Psalms for the day, there is a poem that I would like to share with you all. It is called Tired by Shel Silverstein. I've been working so hard, you just wouldn't believe, and I'm tired. There is so little time and so much to achieve, and I'm tired. I've been lying here, holding the grass in its place, pressing a leaf with the side of my face, tasting the apples to see if they're sweet, counting the toes on the centipede's feet. I've been memorizing the shape of that cloud, warning the robins to not chirp so loud, shooing the butterflies off the tomatoes. Keeping an eye out for floods and tornadoes, I've been supervising the work of the ants, and thinking of pruning the cantaloupe plants, timing the sun to see what time it sets, calling the fish to swim into my nets, and I've taken 12,041 breaths, and I'm tired. How often are we tired with life? How often are we tired of feeling anger towards the world? Will there be an end to this tiredness? And when will there be an end to this tiredness of everyone's hate? Sometimes I wonder where God's mercy and love is during this time of pain and anger with the community. For me personally, it saddens me to see this world this way. For me to see God and find hope, assurance, or even the light of God that is trying to show during this hard time. It leads us into our Psalms for the day of Psalms 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of the children and infants. You have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you are careful of for them? You have made them a little over, a little lower than angels and crowded them with glory and honor. You have made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all the flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea and all that swim in the paths of the seas. Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. <sighs> to see God's majesticness in the world is that it is a gift that he gives us to work together and be a community. God blesses us in our own ways and has each of us have a special gift to be part of this world. God never intended this world to be separated. He wanted us to come together in many ways and where we could try to live in peace, love, compassion, and understanding of one another. Though it is hard to love our enemies, but by showing our love and forgiveness to our enemies, we are showing the love of Christ through ourselves to make this world a better place. I leave you today with a thought for today. How tired are you today, and how will God allow you to show love, compassion, and forgiveness towards others and yourself? Remember, God has forgiven you and granted you mercy. We should all be doing what God already done for us. Amen.